This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your one-stop shop to build your online presence and run your business. more specifically ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a rather chilly London today is an exciting video it's actually quite an impromptu one today I planned this video about 20 minutes ago basically a good friend of mine Alexi got in touch he sent me a whatsapp he said TG and we'll get onto a bit of background about Alexi because he's uh, he has got a history in this sort of behavior he sent me a whatsapp saying TG I just bought a Range Rover for a grand do you want to see it and I said yes not only that I'm gonna film a video on it see how this goes down on the channel 1,000 pounds and he now has a Range Rover as a result. I'm told it's fully working and it's actually just over my shoulder over there. So we're gonna have a little look at it, go out for a spin, and I'm gonna try and ascertain whether or not it was a good idea to buy a Range Rover for 1,000 pounds because on the face of it, I don't think it probably is. Now Alexi does have a history of uh, buying many cars for not much money. Uh, historically cars that were probably about six figures but are now worth absolutely nothing. And he gets in and out of these cars relatively unscathed. So I'm gonna see whether or not he's come unstuck with his Range Rover. It'll be very, very interesting. Oh, that's cash. We like that. Oh, there's another one as well. Oh, there's loads of them. What is going on? Anyone got any ideas? Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Anyway, it's ruined it because the Range Rover's over here. Let's go. The Range Rover in question then is behind me. Here it is. And um, no video with Alexi's Range Rover would be complete without Alexi. Come in, sir. This is your cue to enter the video. Hello, mate. Hello, hello. Very so good. we did actually film a video not so long ago with a 15 grand Bentley, did we not? <laughs> yeah, my uh, The I footage just, corrupted. so well. <laughs> no, no, actually, no, we'll get into that. Yeah. So he bought a 15 grand Bentley Continental. It was about 15, wasn't it? Thereabouts. G give or take, give or take. Oh. Give or take. We went out on it, filmed the video. The footage corrupted anyway. So it's not on my channel, sorry about that. But you came unstuck with that, just about. Are we allowed to say what happened to it? Let's yeah, jump in the we'll car go, anyway. We'll go with it. We'll, we'll talk about it. the Bentley we'll in a minute. Apart. Yeah, right then. Talk us through your purchase, because I, I, I can obviously see that it's a Range Rover. It's a 4.6 HSE. But uh, tell me that. The, the, no biggie. Uh, I mean, look, I paid a grand for it. Uh, <laughs> I bought it completely sight unseen from, uh, from an auction, actually. Brilliant. Uh, that's the way to do things. If it doesn't work, I just sell it for what it is. You know, I mean, perfect. Pay a grand for it in parts. So, I mean, talk me through the process. You were, you were kind of um, I was perusing bored, the internet I was one evening. Bored at home, you know, as we do. I know you do this, mate. Not for a thousand pound cars, more, you know. It's... No, I haven't, but I might get that, into it actually. But, um, I was bored and I just thought, look. Bored on the internet one evening, you thought, why not spend a thousand pounds on a Range Rover I haven't even seen? So yes, you bid it on a Range Rover that you hadn't even seen before for a thousand pounds, and then what, you just go and get it or it turns up on a lorry? What's no, the vibe? It turned up and it turned up on a forklift. <laughs> it turned up. <laughs> and I thought, good God, what have I bought? Um, it looks you know, good. Nothing, nothing worked, literally nothing worked. Uh, plugged in a battery, uh, really? battery charger, all started up and job done. So it didn't, it didn't run? But you just gave it a quick charge and... Gave it a quick charge and there we are. Right, should we jump in then let's and we'll, we'll go for a spin and we'll, let's see if it's... T try and turn it on actually, let's, let's see if it let's starts. Let's see if it runs, it just about starts. Go on. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there we are, just to about. To be fair, there, no, to be fair there. it did start. I was worried. Perfect. All is going well then, let's, let's hop in. I mean, is that supposed to work? Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Oh, very nice in here. Yeah, it's high end. Very nice. Is this, is this walnut? Oh, genuine plastic walnut. Genuine plastic walnut, lovely stuff. And there's leather dash and the, does the clock work? Um, yeah. That looks about right, actually. It does, actually. Yeah, that it? still yeah, works. Still works. Still works. Things are all going very well. Yeah, uh, suspension just does the job. Nice little dashboard. So, right, let's chuck on the GoPro, let's get talking. Come on then. Oh, let's go for a spin. Right. Get your seatbelt on, mate. Let's not do any off-roading. No, no. Because I don't fancy my chances in this. <laughs> well, we was this it. the generation of Range Rover that, that used to roll over and kill people? Or was that the one before? Uh, probably, probably. I mean, uh, it's, it's pretty it's pretty boaty. Go steady then, son. It's very roomy in here, actually. We've got a sunroof. Yeah, pull oh. it back. Yeah, it will work. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I think 
we've seen better days than that, mate. But it's lovely. You know, it does a job. Lovely little cabin. Yeah, it's actually alright, you know, for a grand, you can't really go wrong. I mean, look. If it I'm goes. actually <laughs> amazed. This is so comfortable, and it. You close your eyes, you could be in a modern car. You close your eyes, you're not looking at this. Uh, there's yeah. no creaks, there's no rattles. And I open my eyes again. There's no creaks, there's no rattles, there's nothing. Well, I mean, it's done 50 miles. This is rich. Miles. It's, it's done, done 50,000 okay. miles, you know. Right. It's uh, very low mileage. Uh, so 50,000 miles. One owner. One owner. Yeah, for me, one owner. I mean, it's pretty unheard of at this stage. Uh, that's why I bought it. Because, uh, that's why I bought history. it unseen. That's why I bought it unseen, because I thought, you know what? One owner, 50,000 miles. Yeah. It's bound to be all right. Um, service history, yeah, full service history. All came You're with the joking, car. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is being the HSE is relatively near the top of the line. Let's not go into spec or anything because nah. spec's kind of irrelevant on cars in this stage. Everything's of just exactly. A, I mean, you've, a got, you've got a tape poop. player and uh, that's but but yeah. tape <laughs> and a cable. You've I remember got, those. You've got you've got a cable. You've got a cable. Uh, good, good. All going very well. We've not been engulfed in flames. I've not. Not yet. Got although, if, if we put the window down, you will get high off petrol fumes. Really? Uh, <laughs> we don't. We don't worry we about things like we that. We won't do that. We I've got an electric that. car. We don't don't worry about things like that anymore. No, I'm no, uh, carbon no. neutral these days. Oh, of course, see. yes. This is this is actually a very environmentally friendly car. I mean, this is not environmentally <laughs> at all. So, no. then, is there is there anything that needs doing on this car? Is there anything screaming out um, that needs doing? Well, obviously that fuel lead that I just mentioned, uh, I'm gonna have dealt with. But other than that, I've pretty much <sighs> sorted everything out. Crown 4S in front of us. Yeah, lovely. I'm gonna put this in. Go for it, mate. I like that. They are a very, very, very good buy. If you haven't bought a Carrera 4S yet and you're thinking about doing it, do it. That's what I would say. I'm gonna do it. I don't it. know what. Yeah, you, no, yeah I, I actually don't mind. might. Yeah, I actually might. Perfect. Um, the next Actually, that's so This is <laughs> can't swear, so. Uh, oh, God. The next. We're, instead of saying that S word, we'll just call them snotters. Okay, snotter. Snotter. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Good. It's a family channel. I don't um, see. Yeah, of course. Of course. Family friendly. Lovely uh, stuff. Well, just, no, other than that, it doesn't really need much. I mean, I've had it serviced, I've had it detailed. Yeah. Um, it looks you know, well. Really it, nice. It needed a lot of paintwork. It did need a lot of paintwork. It'd been sat for, you know, give or take two or three years, not on the road. So. Yeah. But other than that, it's actually right. Um, what are the things that, if, if there's anyone watching this video, I suspect there probably will be that many. If there's anyone watching this video thinking, I want to spend a grand on a Range Rover, Top what tip. are the things to look for? <laughs> yeah. Top are tip. there any tips at this Honestly, point? Honestly, there, you know there are. I, I vaguely know what I'm doing. You know, I'm an idiot, but I vaguely know what I'm Absolutely doing. Absolutely are. Right. Um, but yeah, I'd say air suspension is one of the main things. How um, do you check uh, whether that's knackered? What's, you literally what's... just put the car up to off-road height and have a look at the, um, the like rubber springs. It's pretty easy, to be honest. I mean, I'm not. I'm no mechanic, but I can look at that and you, know, oh, you can vaguely sounds... tell. But other than that, you know, they're pretty old, simple cars. There's not much to go wrong. No, I think this is the last of the generation before they became hopelessly. The next ones are literally good luck. You're, yeah, yeah, you're, you know, you're, you're going to be stuck on a one-way street. I think yeah. value-wise, these are probably not going to do too badly uh, in the long term because this design still looks really cool, and I think it's starting to get quite. I feel like they're cool. coming in. You know, yeah. I feel like this kind of, you know, the orange indicators, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's becoming retro. And you've got grey leather as well. I've got grey in my. Um, this is actually the same spec as my 996. Dark blue outside, grey inside. It is, you know. It could be, could be good for you, mate. Maybe you uh, want it. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I denied I, straight to, off. To be honest with you, I want to start thinning out the expensive stuff and just buy loads mm. of snotters. Mm. Um, yeah, well, you know what? Like for grand. Oh, new GT4. Ooh, high end. Really, really nice. Although red with gold wheels. Not sure I feel about that. Mm, not sure. Not, personally, not my taste. But no, I'm not. I'm not hundred, questionable. Questionable. Hundred percent on that spec. I must say, but it is festive. Um, any other business on this then? So let's talk about your car history then, because you have a habit of buying old snotters, typically I cars. Do, this is yeah, I've had a few different things. They were over 100 grand new, mm -hmm. but then spending literally nothing on them, uh, driving around, hoping for the best, crossing your fingers, mm -hmm. selling them on, making a little bit of cash, and then going again. <laughs> yeah. Is, is that what you going? Basically rolling the dice, mate. Um, you've been getting away with it, I've, though. I've had, you know, I've had a Gran Turismo. Not quite 100 grand, but it's a Gran Turismo, you know, Maserati. Maserati, yeah, how's that um, gone? That was all right. How much did you pay? I uh, paid 17 and a half thousand. Okay. And I think I sold it for about 19 and a half, not, not much, but, you know. It's, yeah, that's um, it's a free car, you know, at the end of the profit. day, so why not? Um, yeah. I don't do I don't do depreciation. That's one thing I don't do. Oh, I do that. Don't yeah, worry, you, I've got you that. You love that, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah got... I do not do that. You know, I've if, written a book I, it on annoys me if I even lose a grand on a car. Oh, mate. Um, <laughs> so you're you have, uh, you're in a different league to me in that sense. You'd have a seizure, being me. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, I've had uh, I've had that CL600 that was over 100k new. You know, the yeah. Works. 
What's the biggest bill then? Because people will be thinking you must just get some horrendous bills at some point. What's the biggest bill you've had on, on one of these snotters? I get away with it, mate. I've not actually had too bad, too bad a bill. I mean, I don't um, know how you've done. So what have you had? Then? You've got a CL600, you've had the Maserati Gran Turismo. These are cars I've had that- had an M5. I remember that. Yeah, M5E, what was it, the 2001? What's that one? Oh God, we're gonna get told we're off We're gonna get this. told off for this, but you know, see something. Yeah, whatever, you know, um, know the year of it, it's fine. Come up with that. Um, um, and then what else have I had? Uh, C63. Yeah, uh, I remember that. That wasn't too bad, actually. That wasn't a snotter. That wasn't actually a snotter. You actually snotter. bought the M, the, the Z, Z3 Z3M Coupe. Z3M Coupe, yeah. Bread van thing. Yeah, bread van. Have you Can't still got you? that? No, sold that. Oh, you did very well on that. So yeah, I did you... all right on that. I did all right on that. Had a G-Wagon no, that I that. paid 15 grand for, and I sold yeah. it for 35. That was, that was actually the deal of the year. That was wow. The the yeah, that was the deal of the year. You're not stupid, then. I am, but I'm just lucky. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try to give you credit there, but we'll you are get, we'll absolutely get. a cretin. I'm a cretin, yeah, I'm everything. You name it. Um, but, uh, what else have you had? What, what, else have you had? what else have I had? Um, I've had probably three other Range Rovers. You know, the really? Old Finch, you know, and you've one. dodged massive bills. I've in never had any bad bills. I've been, I'm sure I've been close, but uh, oh, I had that Porsche 911 where the engine went. Do you remember? The Which Targa, one was that? The Targa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Targa. But unfortunately, the engine went literally a month after I sold it. So the guy who bought it, he had a nine grand bill. I actually had no idea, genuinely had no idea this was gonna happen. Yeah, um, the so- The poor guy, I actually felt really bad for him, but you know, he tried to sue me. So I decided that, that he that wasn't such happen. a nice guy after all. So I, I must clarify at this point then, you're not actually a car trader, you just like- No, you no, like no, buying no. snotters. I just like buying, you know, interesting cars. Yeah. And uh, you know, if I can make a bit of money on the side, why not? You know, I do I do property development for a living, so yeah, perfect. I don't, you know, it's not really my kind of source of income as such. It's just a bit of fun, you know. And, yeah, you um, are just rolling the dice. I mean, I'm. I'm rolling sure the dice. You yeah. haven't made money on everything. You've probably lost on. No, I, I've, I lose probably on most things, but you know, we'll, we'll go with the good ones for the video. Bit of maths. You can you can write all that off. So yeah, when you are buying and selling cars as a well, selling cars as a as an individual as a private individual, mm. the. It's not like a, the dealership. This is what many people don't know. Mm. As a dealership, if you're selling a car, the standard that car has to meet and the obligations that the dealership need to meet for the next sort of six months or so under mm. the Sales of Goods Act is way higher than if you buy a car privately. <laughs> yes, another 996. They're all out. Let him in. He's a good old boy. 996 Turbo S. That is cash. That is lovely. Get a 996 next. That is, is that absolute cash. Is that that, yep, Turbo S, lad. Wow. We like that. Ooh. What were we saying? Um, so yeah, when you do sell on one of these cars, as a private individual selling you, a car, you don't have to meet the same obligations. There, there isn't the Sales of Goods Act doesn't apply, and basically the Sales of Goods Act, Sale of Goods Act basically means that um, it has to be fit for purpose. And there's mm -hmm. months and months and months after you sell the car, that car still has to be uh, fit and proper and all the still rest work. of it. But as a private individual, when you sell a car, you don't have to meet all those kind of criteria. Yeah, although it is pretty dishonest if you do if you do sell. Yeah, yeah, issues, yeah. So don't. like, you do, I know you. You're not actually. You're I'm not, not actually a. Dick. You're not actually a bumhole. You're actually yeah. a, a good egg. So, um, but yeah, you need to you need to be a little bit careful when you are buying. Yeah, these private things. individual. You know, they can just run off as soon as you've basically as soon as you've uh, exchanged money. That's it. Do your homework more thoroughly than if you're buying off a private individual. As a garage, if they sell you a shocker, and it has got latent defects in it. And even if those defects appear after within three months, you've still got some recourse. You can unwind the finance sometimes, or even threaten to. That's usually enough with dealerships for them to sort out whatever the issue is. Uh, with a private individual, you don't have anything. But yeah. you do get the better deals with the private individual. Yeah, you do save money in the A in dealer the has bought a car to make money on. Whereas yeah. a private individual, generally, he's bought it and used it, and now he's selling it. You know, yeah. So he doesn't have that margin to make, so he can usually you know, get a bit of money off You just there. killed a wood pigeon. Did I just? No, I didn't. <laughs> it flew away. Uh, there was quite I a do lot not of feathers kill, there. I do not kill animals. I'm did I actually? No, it flew off. I saw it in the mirror. Uh, you... I specifically avoided it because I love pigeons. Mate, you maimed it. That's <laughs> chaos. I? Oh, well, let's uh, dig a groove. Don't thing. agree with that. I'm not a vegan, by the way. I like oh, to... are you? Okay, yeah. what? Is that your new girlfriend? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I, I like animals, and I just thought, why am I eating them? Are you actually vegan? I, I'm... I'm I'm vegan as much as possible, but then sometimes mm. I'm veggie and I'm a bit of a murderer and I'll have something that's got milk in it. So you won't have a steak? No, not anymore. Really? I don't, do you know what? I don't miss it. Like beyond meat and all those kind of um, meat substitutes, mm. some of them are really, really good. Mm. And I was like an avid burger. You fan. know what, actually? I went to Neat Burger the other day. Neat Burger's good. That is good. It's behind, uh, Lewis good. Hamilton's behind it. Really? Yeah, yeah that was so good. You know what, if I, 
if I hadn't known, I actually would have mistaken that for a real burger. Yeah, me. And that's that is a lot coming from me because I really do not like. Generally, I don't like substitutes for me. No, um, I no, I was exactly the same. And I, I, I remember, I've, I've got a series on my channel about burgers. I've got a burger of course, hashtag. Burger, TG burger biceps, Club. whatever. Yeah. Yep. Oh my, what is this going to be in the video? <laughs> oh yeah, it's all going to oh, get filmed in. All, all relevant. I mean, I don't relevant. know how many minutes we're at. I mean, at we're home. in a Range Rover with a 4.6 litre and we're being vegan. Why not? <sighs> yeah, you, I, I like to kind of even things up a little bit. Well, it's, it's conversation, you know, yeah. it's entertainment. It's great. Okay, get, get it get it all in there. Um, what I didn't do though was turn vegan after watching Game Changers. That's what I didn't do. I want to just clarify that. I don't know if any of you haven't seen that. It's uh, Game lar Changers. largely I've nonsense. Not seen that. It actually put me off being a vegan. Did it? Yeah, it was, it was quite pushy. It was a bit yeah. silly. We've got off topic, haven't we? We have, haven't we? I mean, we're, we're very joking to come out of veganism and why not? Yeah, that's contentious stuff, you know, it's topical. It's of the era, it's of the era, you know. It's I mean, thank God we're not talking about uh, politics. Oh, please, don't, don't, don't even get me started. Oh, don't hell. get me started. Hell, hell, hell. We'll leave that. But, you know. I think the election, this election engaged the young vote. It did, it did. And I think, you know, they made the right decision. <laughs> I'm not going to say whether or not don't, I think you, it was a right decision. Comment, but I'm I think there are lots of positives to be taken, and there are obviously some negatives as well. Yeah, and, of and, and how positive and negative, the, the level of which of positivity and negativity depends on your political affliction. Uh, but I think the country in the past week or so has moved in the in in, in, a, the, in, a, in a good a direction. direction. Yeah, I mean yeah, everyone's yeah. entitled to their views. Whether or not I'm, you think that that should have been the outcome, and that's what you wanted, I think there are positives to be taken. Christ, you're going to shunt there. No. Hell. Really. Yes. Oh, okay. You're obviously not used to my driving, mate. I'm very worried about your driving. Uh, mate, we're, in a, we're in a thousand pound Range Rover. If we shunt it, I'm worried about everyone else. To be okay, honest, okay. At this point. Okay. Great. Good. Fantastic. Okay. Final thing then. What are you buying next, and for how much? What should they? What do you think the viewers at home should go and buy? Say they've got like five grand and they want to buy a snotter, and by snotter I mean something that was you mm -hmm. know six figures and old and whatever and mm -hmm. quite interesting. Mm -hmm. What what's your what's your tip from the top? Wow, well, I of the mean, game over here. look, I mean, I know we're in one now, but these are never going to be cheaper than they are at the moment. I yeah. know that. I know, you know, not everyone likes Range Rovers, not everyone wants an old, you know, snotty 4x4, but they're never going to be cheaper than they are now. I feel like they're coming back in, so I think these will go up in value eventually. Yeah. You just have to look at the classic, which is shot up. Yeah, the one um, before this, yeah. Exactly. Uh, what else? I think that, you know, all kind of old BMW M cars, you know I, know, I know it's been said already, but, you know, like the E46 M3s, you know, they're going to yeah. start going up. They already have gone up a bit. Um, what else? I suspect that, you know, anything which has a bit of rarity value that's kind of in the 90s right now is going to start to kind of come back in. Yeah. Because, you know, everyone, you know, the, the 80s, that's already kind of gone up, you know, the Testarossa, stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's true. 80s, isn't it? Yeah. And then, you know, the 90s stuff will just follow suit. You know, it's, it's kind of natural progression. So this being 90s. We'll There's a little cow out. noise that keeps being. That is, uh, yeah, that's just something to do with the brakes. Is that okay? I think it's all right. <laughs> no, it's fine. I know you can hear it every now and then. I hope that's been picked <laughs> like up on that. It's like a little mooing noise, isn't it? But you little can't. Cow um, in the dashboard. You, you can't hear it on there, I don't think. Maybe you can. So to, to conclude then, my audience should all go and buy an old Range Rover. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, sounds like a very good word of advice. Wicked. And Lovely. on that bombshell then, I think it's time to end the video. Thank you very much for participating. I'm going to cover every time you buy a Snotter okay, now. Okay. Every time you buy one, I want to know. We can document this. And we're going to go for a lap of London in a Snotter. And we're going to dock it. And you need to update me as well. If this thing causes you hell and there's a big bill, I don't want you keeping it secret. Okay, okay. I I'll want to tell you. everyone. I'll, I'll, tell I'll let you all know probably on Instagram. It won't be a separate video. Yeah. But I'll let you know on in Instagram stories that he's just been clobbered with bills. So you need to keep it. <laughs> so I'm not going to use that. Yeah. You'll update people with the weekly shockers uh, that occur in uh, Alexi's life. Perfect. Okay. All right then. Cool. Over and out then. Thanks very much. Lovely. Ciao. We'll spot each other. In it. Lovely. Yeah. Ciao. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform then to build your online website, your online store, or even create a portfolio. It's super simple to claim your own URL and create a custom site that suits your style. Squarespace already has everything there that you'll need, so it's got templates on there that you can just grab and then you can drag and drop your own elements into that template. It makes it super simple to create a website that kind of matches your vibe. There are even galleries on there so you can customise and display your imagery in your own unique way. What's more, Squarespace will actually also help with email campaigns as well, so you can engage thousands of customers and potential customers with targeted, customized email campaigns, nice and simply. Super crucial stuff, email marketing. 
And once your website's up and running, Squarespace will actually give you a load of tools to monitor how many people are hitting the site, how long they're staying there for, what kind of people are hitting it, what they're spending, what they're enjoying, what they're looking at the most, all the analytics you need to be able to tweak your site to maximize what you want from it, whether or not that's revenue, whether or not it's a viewership, whatever. Squarespace got all the tools on there to help you decipher the info and target your website. So then all that's left is to offer you a very exclusive deal. For a limited time only, Squarespace will be offering you a free trial. And when you are ready to hit go on your website, use the link below and you'll get 10% off.